Now, Stormwatch 12 weather with meteorologist Josh Culbreth. Welcome back to Newswatch 12 midday. Right now you're taking a look at some clear skies in Grants Pass. This view coming courtesy of the Tap Rock Northwest Grill. I can guarantee you that whatever this is actually isn't up in the sky. It's just a little speck that is on our lens. It is feeling very comfortable. Hey, look at that sunny and 75 in Grants Pass right now. Most of us inland are either in the 60s or 70s. Much cooler along the coast though because of the marine layer. And you'll see on Stormcast the marine layer gradually moving down towards the south, towards Del Norte and Humboldt counties as we head into the afternoon. Now, something else we'll be tracking this afternoon and evening will be the threat for some showers or thunderstorms popping up along and east of the Cascades and down into Siskiyou County, mainly to the east of the Interstate 5 corridor. So the sun will go down. I think most of us will dry out. Stormcast is uh, very, it, it really wants to hold on to some of this moisture as we head into the overnight hours, but I, I think it's being a little bit too aggressive. And then as we head into tomorrow, we're going to deal with the same thing. Maybe a few more clouds up in the sky, but in, in terms of shower and thunderstorm coverage, it's going to be just about the same as it will be for today. So the afternoon and evening, Klamath Lake and eastern Siskiyou counties, and then the sun goes down and it's looking like we're going to dry out as we head into Wednesday morning and then we're going to keep things dry for the rest of the foreseeable future. Here's your playground forecast for today for the Rogue Valley and it is going to be a gorgeous day to go to the playground, go to the park, go on a walk, go on a run. Just be sure you have the water and that you have the sunscreen, especially within our west side valleys where there aren't going to be as many clouds up in the sky. So for today, it's going to be very warm slash hot will be about 10 to 15 degrees above average for this time of the year. So that's going to put us near 80 degrees to the east of the Cascades, near 90 degrees for our west side valleys and mid 60s there along the coast in Curry County as the marine layer just has this feeling very different compared to inland areas. Now at the peak of daytime heating, in addition to the very small chance of some thunderstorms, we'll also have breezes gusting out of the north and northwest upwards of 20 miles per hour. So in the sunshine, but in the breezes, it'll feel pretty nice. And then for tonight, I think pretty much all of us dry out despite what Stormcast is saying. And I think most of us will see mostly clear skies and pretty mild overnight lows as well. We'll be in the low 50s to the east of the Cascades, near 60 for our west side valleys and low 50s there along the coast in Curry County where we could have a little bit of patchy marine layer fog just like what we saw for this morning. The forecast stays pretty consistent over the next few days. We'll finally completely dry out in a Wednesday and Thursday, but in terms of what we're going to see for the Rogue Valley, I mean, temperatures will ebb and flow just a little bit, but I think all in all, our pattern is staying, is, is staying pretty stagnant. So today, tomorrow, small thunderstorm chances, and then after that, I think we're going to be in the clear. And like I said, temperatures staying pretty consistent, pretty warm over the next five to six days, but then into Father's Day, it's going to be very interesting. It looks like our temperatures backtrack a little bit and we can start to feel either seasonal or subseasonal. Here's that seven day forecast for the coast. We'll see some warmer temperatures as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and beyond with the marine layer getting a little bit weaker. It means we'll see some more sunshine, but then a return of the marine layer into the weekend. So that means we'll get a little bit cooler for Siskiyou County. Small thunderstorm chances for today and tomorrow, but then after that, it's looking like we're going to be pretty dry and pretty warm. And then for the east side, we're pretty much going to track the exact same pattern. Small thunderstorm chances for today and tomorrow. Dry after that for the Cascades and Siskiyous. I'd be surprised if we had any thunderstorms beyond today. And then, of course, just lots of sun, lots of melting snow. And then for the Rogue Valley, nothing but sunshine in the forecast over the next seven days. Pretty warm slash hot over the next six days. Then feeling a little more spring-like on Sunday. All right, thank you, Josh. Now, obviously, you've talked about low chances of thunderstorms, but these are going to be nothing like we saw last week in the Klamath and Lake County area, right? Yeah, you know, last week we, we tallied up some of the lightning strikes that we had in 12-hour in periods, and there were several days where we got upwards of like 800, 900 lightning strikes. So we're not going to see anything like that today. There will be some small thunderstorm chances for those same areas, but I don't nothing think... Nothing too crazy. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to be counting lightning strikes like that. Yeah. Well, that's good to hear. All right. Well, thank you, Josh. Of course.